Oh. That's a... Uh... That's a keyboard with a pleasure meter. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Scarecrow J, and today we're going to be looking at another weird game, Revenge of the Sunfish, which was recommended to me in the comment section of the other weird game video I made, uh, Application 1. However, it would be remiss of me not to mention the website I found the game on. So if you Google Revenge of the Sunfish, you do not get a direct link to the game like I thought you would, but rather a link to a website under the same name called revengeofthesunfish.com. This is the game creator's website, and it looks very old school, as you can see, and it's simply amazing. It has links to games and other stuff. Uh, <laughs> and in other stuff, there is a crazy amount of just random stuff that I find very interesting to look through. My favorites were the artwork page, which is a link that takes you to all of this radical looking art that I think is all made in MS Paint. Very interesting to go through and look at all of it. Another interesting one was the How to Talk to Cats page. There are actually some pretty good facts about cats here, uh, as you can see. <laughs> so you might want to take notes on this page if you're planning on talking to cats. And last but not least, my absolute favorite is the seizure page. <laughs> and this link is exactly what you think it is. It takes you to a page that I'm pretty sure if you were an epileptic would give you an epileptic seizure. And if you don't have epilepsy, I'm pretty sure it wires your brain so that you do have epilepsy. Uh, it is terrible. And I do not encourage you to click on it. And I won't be showing it in this video because I legitimately think it's a communal health concern if I were to show it to you. Now if we go back to the main page and go to games, we can see absolutely bizarre looking games that I, I kind of want to try out, but these are not the ones we're here for. Man, some of these arts just look absolutely wild though. <laughs> what we're here for, of course, eventually we'll get to it right here, Revenge of the Sunfish. Well, I guess it's time to download, and hopefully this isn't some kind of malware. Alright, and here we are. Uh, just to temper your expectations, this game is from 2007, and the art is mainly made in uh, MS Paint, so... Probably not gonna look pretty, but it's gonna be weird. Oh god. One day in a peaceful galaxy, something bad happens. Oh, this is horrible sounding. <laughs> something really, totally uber bad. The sunfish came without warning. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna have to lower this in post. <laughs> Alright, it's time to pay, you bastards. I guess we're going after them sunfish. Oh, and now we have some great Game music, I don't know what this is from. This is Castlevania, perhaps? I think it's Castlevania, I'm not too sure. Uh, okay, a deep hole. So I believe we press space. Drawbridge activated. Shoot lever, move down. What about the- Oh! <laughs> you fell down a hole and went ker splat. Make a decision, oh god. Careful next time where you step. Try again, or are you afraid? Okay, okay. I get it. Let's go. Oh. This is just chaos. Holy shit. I can't- my brain just can't keep up with it. Oh, no. <laughs> are you ready to take on the sunfish? No, I'm not ready. I'm too much of a wimp. Please let me go home. How's cake sound? It's on the house. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm not open to bribery. Damn, that usually works for me when I'm in negotiations of some type. Um, I can't take on the sunfish because I'm a wiener. <laughs> yes, I do believe I have the courage, the constitution, and the strength. How about a game of chest instead? Yeah. Oh, you worthless one, I will say the magic words, abracadabra. <laughs> that is fine. Okay, we're in a different game. <laughs> the mines teach you how to fly. Press space while in air to fly. Enter continue. 
I hope you all are following along with the story. It's very coherent. Oh. Huh. Oh, so it basically gave me infinite jumping. Okay. Oh, uh, we have... How do I maneuver this? Okay. That went well. Alright. <laughs> oh, we have... S oh! This is the first iteration of Sans Undertale. Did you see those faces? <laughs> One thing you will notice is that even when I die, uh, the game still continues. Uh, and that's supposed to be a feature of the game. Uh, there was like a whole spiel about it on the actual game's page. Uh, no matter what you do, you're supposed to be able to continue with the game. <laughs> See, we got the next level. Technically, the speedrun for this game would probably just be dying in the most efficient way possible. <laughs> oh. Oh, I, I have like a side move. Okay. Okay. Oh, Sand Undertale. <laughs> Oglodontosaurus? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is just even more trippy from being MS Paint. I- you know what's weird? I've never seen colors like this be made in MS Paint. Like, I use Paint 3D to make some of my thumbnails sometimes, and it does not have the capabilities to make something that looks like this, so... I don't know, old MS Paint hit different, I guess. Am I, am I flying up with my brethren? No? Oh? Okay, back here. Red equals bad, green equals good. Okay. Electricity? Or blue, that doesn't seem good. We need green. Oh! Oh, we're red. Oh no. <laughs> what have I done? But wait, what happens if I go into this? Ah. Yes, I see. We've become a face with a Dorito under it. That's just our little that's our little beard. We've ascended to a realm where we no longer need bodies. You know, I think it might be peaceful like this. How would we harm each other? We would only be talking and listening. Such a peaceful world. Okay, I've fallen into hell. <laughs> I seem to have... two bodies. Over the next few minutes, a sample will play of a sound made by a certain animal. Listen very carefully and see whether you can guess what animal made that sound. When you think you know the correct answer, select the corresponding animal from the selection. Good luck, friend! Press enter to continue. That's... how do I... oh, mouse. That's a kitty cat, right? Alright. <laughs> I guess that was incorrect. What? I- I can't- this sounds like a kitty cat. Okay. It obviously isn't. <laughs> I, what do you want from me? Okay, that- that was a dead fetus. Very good. Very good. Very normal. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Leave me alone. Is it the seal? <laughs> what? That bump on the head caused you to forget the flying skill. Thankfully, you just recently found a flame throw whirr. <laughs> Press space to fire fire. With your newfound weapon, you you're set off you set off eager to defeat the evil sunfish. Blasticate enter to continue. Alright. I don't seem to Okay. I don't seem to have that flamethrower they were talking about. Interesting. Maybe it's contextual. Jump! There we go. Get out of my way, Mr. Tack. The most evil of tacks. Come on, move. 
Oh, I have the magic Dorito telling me where to go. Oh, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Collect all the hearts to progress Fuhrer? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the f I don't think a heart is anything you want to associate Hitler with. Oh no. What? <laughs> Collecting hearts, okay. These are regular hearts. These aren't Nazi hearts. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I gotta be honest. That one caught me off guard. I knew this was gonna be random, but that was... That was a whole nother level of randomness. <laughs> I know this is probably looking like a bunch of randomness on the screen and stuff, but... I, I do find it a bit interesting, because all this stuff is obviously handmade, and handmade... Rather painfully, probably, with MS Paint. You know, it's not easy to design stuff in MS Paint. Um, and I don't know. I kind of like this stuff, especially when we're in an era of AI and everything is, like, more and more being made with AI. It's kind of disappointing that we might miss out on stuff like this. Because, you know, this is creativity in, like, liquid form. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Ah, now I have my flamethrower, so it is contextual. Contextual actions in this game, not what I expected. You just got an intense craving for dirt. Ah. You need to eat dirt in order to save the human race. You are our last hope. Everything counts on you and your dirt eating. Use spacebar to shovel up and eat dirt. Please, please save us. Go, dirt man. Our hearts and minds are with you all the way. Press enter to go eat it up. Yum, 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 <laughs> yum. Why is there yum, EMC square? Yum, what? Yum, 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 okay. Yeah. Yum, 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 yum. Sorry if you can hear my space bar. Filling up my dirt meter. Aw, oh, too much dirt. Well done, you sure taught that dirt a lesson or two. And on top of that, it tasted fucking sweet. Way to go, dude. Sweat on the enter key. Well, it is hot in my room, so I guess I can do that quite easily. Hello, this is your keyboard speaking. You can call me Glenda. I get so lonely. You don't know what it's like. I have feelings, I have needs. Sometimes I just want some love. Listen. You need me, and I need you. Just do me a little favor and stroke me. <laughs> Gently stroke my space bar. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I hope you guys heard that. Oh. That's a... That's a keyboard with a pleasure meter. I don't know what to say to this. This makes me feel very uncomfortable and dirty. I didn't want all of you to see me like this. You are, huh? Damn, I just do that to uh, keyboards, huh? <laughs> okay. Alright. I need to go wash my hands. <laughs> Thank you.
What were we made of? Glass? I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> Water. That was correct, apparently. What do we have here? Uh, oh. What is... Okay. Am I covering the screen? This is very hard to control. This does not control how you think it does. Oh gosh, this is like tank controls. Yep. My name is Eggs Pitch. I want to help you. I'm a trained doctor. I swear to God I can sort out your problems, but first I need your trust. Do you believe me? You look a little deranged, friend. I don't think I am. Why am I moving soap to use my answer? You know what? Why am I... Why now am I asking for any sort of logic? Oh! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, Pac-Man. Pac, Pac, Pac. Oh, I'm so good at Pac-Man. Easy peasy. Easy. Home free. Home free. Oh, Pac-Man's dead. Stay off my mystical island? Mystical rock? Or else? Oh. I like how our character just constantly changed. We're not one consistent character. <laughs> I did read that this game, apparently, every level is supposed to be like a different game. Uh, and that's what it feels like. So I guess, yeah, that's pretty accurate, huh? Oh. All right, <laughs> welcome to Suburbia, where everybody's dream comes true. Your mission is to start the engine and maneuver out of the driveway. Proceed with caution. Ram spacebar up there. That's right, all the way up there. Good work. Ah. Huh, how do I... Am I just supposed to smash this thing or... Oh, there we go. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, this is. Uh oh. I don't think I'm a very good person. What is happening? Okay, I had to restart because things were like going very slowly and it wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, there we are. Okay. This is the most coherent looking game so far. <laughs> I don't know exactly what I'm doing though. Sometimes you don't need to know what you're doing for game. Sometimes you just be playing. That's cool, too. Oh, they be spitting. A Final Fantasy crystal, I think that's... That was like some shield or something. Maybe we were just supposed to move, huh? Let's keep going. Oh, and we're back. <laughs> oh, that was a horrible noise! Oh my god! Or almost looks like my branding. <laughs> Little smiley face. Interesting. As we're going along, these these games at the later like stages definitely feel more like games. Although they're a lot less weird, I would say. Which is kind of the charm of a lot of the other games. Or levels, I should say. Oh, <laughs> that's a fly, and it looks like we're playing as Huggy Wuggy, Huggy Wuggy from 2007, it's all foretold in this game, goddamn mascot horror. 
Oh, okay. I can't seem to collect anything. Aww. <laughs> oh no. Done. A horrible face. What happens if I... Oh! <laughs> Alright. I became a new. <laughs> a friend. Want a hug? Okay. Collect. Uh-oh. <laughs> Get away from me, snake! Uh-oh. Easy. <laughs> That's a win. Dr. Bob's lab, keep out. <laughs> what even killed me? <laughs> I just jumped and died. Oh, there's like landmines. <laughs> Good to know, okay. It's like a trap, a trap, uh, it's like, oh, what's that game just called? Dragon's Lair, where everything's like trapped and you have to act fast to avoid it. Okay, that gonna fall, that little trapdoor, so let's jump over. Oh. Okay. God. <laughs> what a way to go. And then we get this horrible <laughs> resurrection noise. Jeez. Oh, that is brutal on the ears. Oh, come on. <laughs> Please stop. Okay, we have to... <laughs> Aim for the brown. No, please, 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 please. I don't want to hear the noise again. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, it just put us to the next room. That's it. That's the death. The uh, move on in death. Oh, we actually have some sunfishes. See, it's all connected. Every single game has been connected to the story. And if you're not following, then I envy you. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oh, I have a punch. Didn't even notice. We're gonna jump over this spider, though. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my favorite noise. Perfect. Gotcha. Nerd. Are we... I think we're... Yeah, we're going down. Uh-oh. That's a lot of them. How do I do this? Well, that's Dr. Bob in the side there. Very evil looking dude. Easy. Top tier. There's a landmine there, huh? It's very hard to see those. Ah! <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. I've done something bad. <laughs> I don't know where I am. Oh no. No, <laughs> please. <laughs> I don't have to play through the game again. I already had to do it once. <laughs> oh, thank God there's a, there's, you can press escape and it skips to the next level. So we meet at last Dr. Bob. I'm gonna give you a punchin'. Find the kisser! Haha, <laughs> not so fast! So you thought you could stop me? This is my latest creation, the Cyber Sunfish. Together with this sunfish, I shall rule the world. <laughs> and with you gone, no one will be able to stop me. Oh. Well. You no longer require your help, Dr. Bob. As for you, I will deal with you myself. Ah. <laughs> that noise, goddamn. Punch. Got this, we're not gonna lose. We're not a loser! Damn. I have one more chance, I think. Oh, it's so hard. Okay, we have infinite chances, but every time we die, we have to hear that horrendous noise. Okay. 
All right. <laughs> no. I'll probably cut some of that out. <laughs> that took a long time. Congratulations. Oh. The destruction of the leader, Cyber Sunfish. The Sunfish were forced to flee back to their home planet. Denethropox Equiz... Quinks. In the abdaxing nebula 9.7 light years away the invasion has been thwarted and the human race can continue to copulate freely without sunfish interference but what about the keyboards dude no i got a thing with my keyboard now there's no going back for me you have done a good job mate press enter to quit damn what a game well, I have to say that was a wild experience. That was truly one of the most bizarre games I have ever played. I think this game kind of illustrates why I like weird games, though. They are usually the result of freeform creativity. It certainly wasn't the best game I have ever played, but it was interesting. And that's most of the battle when it comes to enjoying a game, I think. <laughs> Playing through this game was the kind of experience that I won't be able to forget very easily. With all that being said, let me know what y'all thought of the game in the comments below. If you want to see more of my stuff, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and remember, be kind to each other out there.